Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to describe how to create a photo slideshow using the Flash Editor at EffectGenerator.com. A slideshow component displays other child components one after the other in sequence. To create a slideshow, click Slideshow from the component library on the left-hand side of the screen. You can then select other components to add to the slideshow in turn. For example, I'll add text and then some images. The components are displayed in the component tree on a configuration panel on the bottom of the screen. You can select each component in turn to configure it using configuration options on the right. For example, we can change the text to read Welcome. You can upload images by selecting Upload from the image configuration and selecting files from your file system. More than one file at a time is possible. These files are then uploaded and resized. We can now configure various parameters for the slideshow. Click on the effect component on the root of the component tree to be able to change the width and the height of the slideshow component. Click on the slideshow itself to be able to change the number of frames that are allocated to each slide. For example, by changing it to 50 frames per slide, the slideshow will uh, display faster. You can also select components within the slideshow and change the duration parameter on the effect pane to be able to change the duration for which that particular slide occurs. Transitions can be added to the slideshow component to change the way that each slide is displayed. To add a transition, first select the slideshow component and then go to the Animations tab on the left hand side of the screen. Display transitions occur each time a component is made visible in the slideshow. For example, by selecting Transparency Delay Transition, we can cause each component to fade in when, it's, when they're displayed. By clicking on the effect within the effects box on the configuration pane, you can change various parameters. For example, how long the fade lasts. We can introduce a fast fade, reducing the number of frames that the fade takes. We can add the Scale Up transition to introduce a slow zoom for each component. By changing the start value to the default value of a component 1 and the end value of the transition to a number slightly greater than 1 and then using a large frame value we can introduce a slow zooming effect as displayed in the preview pane. High transitions occur when a component is finished displaying. For example, we might select scale down for a component to be reduced when it finished being displayed. Once you're happy with your effect, you can publish it to an HTML page or blog or social network by clicking the Publish button. You can also add other components within the same canvas as a slideshow. For example, if we go to the templates directory of the effects builder, then under effects you could, for example, add a snow effect. Here's the snow effect in the template browser. If we click on Add Template to Current Effect, it will be added the snow effect has been added as a new canvas within the component tree, but it's underneath photos being displayed by our slideshow. To put it on top of the slideshow, drag the canvas above the show. Now you can see that the snow effect has been applied onto our slideshow, and snow is falling in our photos.